All right, guys, it's leg day. I think we're right at about 12 and a half weeks out, so 12, 13 weeks, I'm not quite sure what we'll label the video, but it's the Thursday before the Saturday that marks 12 weeks out. Anyway, we're here to train legs. If you guys watched the previous video, you guys might have seen, we got a new pendulum squat, so I'm gonna play with that today. I'm pretty excited, but I also got a new hip press, just getting some new stuff trickling in and uh, pretty excited about it. So today I'm gonna kind of rebuild my leg day a little bit. I've been progressing with everything up to this point, but I'm gonna throw it all out the window and start fresh. I'm excited for it, follow along. We're gonna start here with the adductor machine. Gonna work up to two sets. I did have them at the end for a while because I've just been maxing out this machine and I wanted a way to kind of cut back on the top end loading. I've just found doing them in the beginning primes my legs for my squatting movements, leg press, and I feel like I get a really good connection when I start here. There we go. Leveled up. Time to get huge. top set here, I'm gonna repeat that weight, and then I'm gonna do a drop set. I don't know how much of it will show you guys, kind of boring stuff, but that's what I'm gonna do. So top set, repeat the top weight, and then do a drop set. <laughs> That's it. All right, two sets here. Top set, repeat, drop set. I wanna to touch base a little bit on the drop set. I think a lot of people use the drop set inappropriately. I think you guys need to be making sizable enough drops to maintain the integrity of your reps. What I see a lot of people do is frantically dropping. Reps are getting worse and worse and worse. You're not reducing the load enough to maintain appropriate execution. So I made fairly sizable drops that if anything, every drop, my execution got better and I improved on it and I utilized that as an opportunity to hone in on execution, not to get sloppy. So use it as a way to get more out of your sets, not less. I've gone over this a few times, but it's been a while since I've done a leg day. I do know I have some new viewers, a new audience. Hello, comment, like, subscribe, thank you. But when it comes to the seated hamstring curl, what I see a lot of people doing is throwing this and what you'll see is they'll arch their back and they'll use their glutes and their low back to move the weight. Now, what I like to do, I like to tuck my sternum, make sure my back is flat against that pad, brace against this, and just move at the hamstrings, bam. Nice and controlled, full stretch. Sit in that stretch for a second, curl down, squeeze. That way back maintains contact with the pad the whole time and it's all hamstrings. None of this, okay? No humping to get it to move. 
I'm gonna add a little bit of weight to the stack. Unfortunately, the gym pin doesn't work here. It gets hung up on this. So another trick you can do, just this pin right here. I'm gonna loop it through, hold the weight, plug it in. Just like so. So that's just gonna be one all out set on the seated ham. As you guys seen last week or two weeks ago, I do have like a hamstring day where I do more hamstring work. Today's gonna be a little more quad focused, quad adductor. Um, so yeah, so just one set here. Now onto the leg press. Fucking laugh at me. My wife's laughing at me because I couldn't move the weight she was just using. I'm, I'm just warming up. Thank <laughs> God, dude. It's my first time using the machine, so. Take it easy on a guy, you know? Oh yeah, that feels awesome. Okay, coming to this, gonna do a single leg press. Um, honestly, I've been really struggling with knee pain and this thing is easy on the knees, which I'm very grateful for. I like to get my hamstring curl movements, my leg press, sometimes extensions if my knees will allow me in all before I do my squatting movements, just so I'm good and warmed up and primed and ready to squat. But yeah, we're gonna work up, do a couple sets here, single leg, and then move on. Oh yeah. Okay, one more, Jess. Up, uh, yep. Oh, good. Whew, jeez. That snuck up, I got heavy. I'm really aiming for maximal knee flexion. I got my foot as low as I can on this platform and I'm bringing heels to hamstrings. I'm really trying to bury this thing, feet nice and low, bury those cocksuckers. Alright, 
I'm gonna pull back some weight here and do a drop set. Like I said, I'm just figuring this stuff out, figuring out this equipment. So I don't really know how much to do. Um, general rule of thumb, I'll pull 10, 15% off for a back offset. So I'm gonna try to kind of calculate that. That was a little lower rep set than I wanted to do. I wanted to be in the 15 range. I think that was 10. So I'm gonna take a pretty big chunk off because this back off, I'd like to be 15 to 20, 15 plus. I really prefer like these higher rep sets for quad movements. So I'm gonna play with this a little bit and try to figure out where we're at for a back off set. Oh shit, I'm good. I'm fucking around. All right, I'm gonna quit fucking around and I'm gonna work. I'm gonna rack this and then I'll just actually do a set. I'm gonna make this weight work. I'll just make it heavy, pause it, do as many reps as I need to. Do you wanna stick around and spot me? Uh, I mean, someone spot you for two sets of 20. That's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot to ask. I'll just bury myself. God damn, one more. Oh, God damn. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, beautiful. A lot of quad pain, no knee pain. That's awesome. God damn. Jeez, that was a little too light. I did over 20 reps. It took me 20 minutes. Oh man, <laughs> that's a lot. Okay, I was gonna do like a hamstring movement in between, but I'm gonna go right from the hip press into this pendulum squat, the wife squatting. I wanna do it with her, it looks like fun. So this will be the next movement. It's so insulting, <laughs> but yes, and take a plate off. <laughs> Beautiful. There we go. Fucking beautiful rep. Good, Jazz. Come on. Good. You got another. Let's get two more. Really nail these. Good. One more. Come on, Jazz. Make it perfect. Beautiful. Good. Good. Good set. Good job. You turned it down. No, look. You angled it down. I know, but you had it too low. Now nah, it's good. He's so critical. No, well, yeah, I am. I am. I'm super uptight. I'm annoying about everything. Anytime she cooks in the kitchen, I'm like trying to stir the food she's cooking. I'll, I'll salt it when she's not looking, and then I ruin it. <laughs> okay. Four plates, I think will be good. I don't know. 
Again, I'm just figuring it out today. So setting baseline numbers. I might overshoot some like I did there and I might overshoot it here, I don't know, but we'll see. Take four plates for a ride, see how it goes. <laughs> All right, I'm putting on my knee sleeves because the wife yelled at me. She said, if your knees hurt, put on your sleeves. Shit. Yep. Yeah, that was enough weight. Oh man. Top set here on the pendulum done. I'm gonna do a back off set, aim for a little higher reps. I'm gonna pull a plate off and I'm just gonna go to failure again. So two sets of failure, top set, back off set. Really what I'm trying to achieve here, again, is just knee flexion. I have my feet as low as possible and I'm getting those knees over the toes, heels, the hamstrings and burying it and just trying to get as big a stretch on my quads as possible. People talk about quad sweep and they'll say things like narrow stance for quad sweep and I'm telling you, that's bullshit. It's not that you can't improve your quad sweep with a narrow stance, but close stance is going to impede my ability to get deep. So I have my toes slightly tracked out and I track my knees out over my toes, open up my hips. That allows me to punch down into that hole and really stretch and load the quads. So pay attention to what I'm doing and you'll see how I'm able to get down as deep as possible and really load and stretch the quads. get a good shoulder press out of that. Good. Okay. That's it for the pendulum. Two sets there. Top set. Back off. Moving on. Done. Okay. Moving on to a lying hamstring curl. So I'm going to work up to a top set here and I'm going to steal something from my buddy, Brett Wilkin. I think called a stretch pause. So it's like a rest pause but you hold in the stretch instead of resting. Hence, stretch pause. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna aim for eight reps, 10 seconds in the stretch, eight reps, 10 seconds in the stretch, and hopefully eight reps again. So I'm slowly building up every week. That's what I'm aiming for. 
that set, that whole set is so tough. Sitting there and holding in the stretch is pretty brutal. So really way, good way to extend a set and make it really difficult um, and really get everything out of your hamstrings that you can. So let's do it. Okay, not quite eight on that last set. It was like eight, eight, six and a half. Yeah, fuck, that's hard. Shout out to Brett Wilkin for those. Fuck, those are hard. Let's feel great. God damn. Is that it? Oh, God damn it, no. I'm gonna break my own equipment. There we go. All right, last movement. We're gonna come to the leg extension. Now I talked to you guys a little bit today about knee pain. I put these at the very end because these do tend to aggravate my knees if I go too heavy or if I'm not good and warmed up. At this point, I've gone through everything. Now I'm gonna come here at the end. It'll cut back on top end loading and my knees are good and warmed up. So I should have a successful session here. Otherwise it, it gets a little tricky. Um, that being said, the extensions is really the least of my concern within a leg workout. Now, I much rather focus on the pendulum squat, leg press, things like that, split squats, walking lunges, squats. These are really gonna be the movements where you get your money's worth. I think a lot of people over prioritize or overvalue this movement. It has its place, but honestly, this is the first movement I throw out the window if it bothers me. So you guys will notice, I am leaned back here a little bit and pushing the hips forward to where I get a little bigger stretch on the quads than if I was right here. See what I'm saying? I position myself back and I'm able to push the knees forward slightly to where there's a bigger stretch on my quads. Now, big deep stretch, hard contraction, control down and stretch. Oh, repeat. Okay, this will be my working weight. Do you guys see I'm loading this top peg? Now what that's doing, it's making it heavier in the stretch on the bottom portion of the movement. Now as I do the extension, the load is gonna come off in the contraction. So I'll actually get a little bit lighter in the contraction, which is where my knee actually bothers me. So this is a really valuable tool to adjust the strength curve based on what works for you. Um, and yeah, where we're at, muscle is strongest where it's longest. Extension, contract hard when that weight comes off. Really nice to be able to utilize these different pegs. I have a few athletes that are doing shows tomorrow. 
So I'm peeking them right now, making sure they have their meals, checking out all their photos. Everybody's looking good, we're on track. But gotta make sure they're taken care of before I hit my set, so. Oh boy. God. I'm over these things. These feel so constricting. Smell good. Oh, God. Okay. One more set on this bad boy and we're out of here. Ah, okay. Oh, fuck. That's it. All right, guys. So that's my leg day. As you see, it is primarily a quad day. I do have some hamstring stuff, but I have another hamstring day throughout the week. So I'm able to pull back on the hamstring stuff today and give a little more attention to the quads, which I really like. Um, but yeah, 12 and a half weeks out, things are starting to get a little more serious. The body's changing, getting hungrier, all fun stuff. I'm excited. So thank you to everyone that made it this far. Comment Farfik Nugan <laughs> if you made it this far. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you everybody for all the support. I'm gonna keep the channel going and we'll catch you on the next one.